So, oh god, there's one below me. Oh, jeez. Okay, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. John Burks is here back on the YMCR modded server. And I'm over here at the Dead Island, located to the southeast of the map, gathering some metal. And it's actually a pretty good area to gather all the metal. Well, actually, it's the best area to gather metal. There's metal all up on the top ridge up there, but um, there's a few nodes that spawn down here. That scorpion was not over there, because I was just over there gathering metal. It just spawned in, I guess. But uh, you got to really watch out, because it's pretty much got the same spawns as Carno Island on um, Vanilla Arc. And uh, it's very dangerous. Did I turn on that forge? I don't believe I did. There we go. So I have the bulk forge out here. I've extended this pad just uh, one foundation all the way around. Uh, it doesn't go all the way around the foundation or the uh, the raft because I had problems extending it back this way. Um, it was saying that these corners, out, corner pieces, whenever I extended it one more, was too far away from the uh, the actual raft. So. That guy's getting really close. I'm gonna I'm gonna swim back out to to see a little bit. It's kind of scaring me. But um yeah, so what we're gonna do this episode is we're gonna try to decorate a lot of the or the rest of the raft and, and get it fully functional, and um we're going to prepare because. I'll have a spoiler at the end of the episode on what we're going to be doing next episode, but it is going to be pretty epic, I do say so, if I do say so myself. Um, Alright, so let, let me check out. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over there. I need to get that metal, but I need to kill all of that first. I don't know if our poor little Pteranodon can actually handle any of that, so let me try. Let me try. So, I ended up taming... Uh, monkey puzzle ended up helping me tame this uh, pteranodon that we have up here and we uh, we tamed one for him as well and uh, I'll show that footage now only made it down to 86 percent effectiveness so we're gonna get 30 levels on it yeah over 100 it's not bad yeah three digit tame at least mm-hmm being stingy and see if I can not put one more narcotic on it. He's gonna get there. Yeah, it's about to eat now. All right, <laughs> the tension is building. Will we get back the ability to fly? One point left. Here it goes. Trolled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's touching the end, man. Yep. No fair. It's like vibrating on the edge right there. You can't. Oh. You can't even see it. Uh, there's no space in between that bar. No, man. He heard us. He's like, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, yeah. You. It was just a few uh, short clips of that, and this scorpion was actually coming out here to try to get us. <laughs> What is he doing? I've never seen a scorpion just go out into the water like that. That's weird. Okay. There we go. There's one. I thought there was another one. That scorpion is on our raft! What are you doing, man? You're just making yourself at home over there. What level is this thing? Level 16. Hmm. It's like it wants to be... It wants to go with us. There we go. Alright, awesome. So I think we're good on the... Dangerous stuff now. Let's go ahead and gather this metal. 
So yeah, this island has been where I've been gathering basically all my obsidian, metal, crystal, and um... Ooh, kind of weighted down there. Obsidian, metal, crystal, basically everything like that. I had to go get pearls from the uh, forest cave, so I've been all around the island uh, on this little raft here. And it's been working out fantastic. I'm actually having a lot of fun on this raft. Could definitely live over here and be efficient. So, let's go ahead and stick this in there. Okay. Uh, let's slim... Uh, we're going to... We're going to go a little farther out, that way we don't get bothered by any of this. There we go, that should be plenty of room. Okay, so I have a lot of this stuff. What was that? I thought I heard something, but I guess not. Alright, so we gotta finish putting all the windows up and everything. And um, I already had the advanced crafting station here, but you can see I've got like three different fabricators here. So um, this one is part of the bulk package, uh, CV's bulk mods. And um, this is probably the one that I'm gonna end up using because it's so small and it's actually really quiet. And this one I'm only guessing is part of advanced arc. Um, this one's about as loud as the normal ones, and I thought it says it requires gasoline to be activated. Well, I have a gasoline in here, and it didn't work. So what happened was I crafted this one. I didn't realize that this had to be powered by electricity. I crafted this one thinking, okay, gasoline. I'll, I'll put that down because it's really small. And I put a gasoline in it, and nope, it doesn't work. It needs to have electricity. So I went ahead and crafted the old uh, regular fabricator here. And I uh, had to use it to make a few things. But I'm actually going to end up demolishing this now because it's so big and I don't want it inside of our raft here. And uh, we've just, I've been gathering metal, been gathering uh, everything else that you can see in here. Uh, I've got a few crossbows, some trink arrows that I've gathered. Um, so we have all of the stuff here that we're going to be placing down. And I'll kind of go over what each of it, all the stuff does. So, let's see, is that, that. We have a stool, I guess we'll place a stool. We have some windows. Mmm, gasoline. And I, I thought we had some gas in here, too. Oh yeah, we got plenty of gas. So, okay. Uh, this one... I'll, I'll explain, I'll, I'll go over what these two, uh, the, the loudness and everything, and my reasoning for keeping the bulk one. So, go ahead and go up here. Having a little bit of trouble getting up and down these stairs. It always catches, like, right here in the middle if you go slow, but if you run up them, it's just fine. Also, I'll place the pimp, uh, my dino smithy up here. The pimped smithy. And, um... Don't really have too many things we can craft in here. We might end up crafting this by the end of the episode. Pimped couch, uh, perfect throne for your survivor's butt. <laughs> so that looks pretty interesting. I think we'll end up crafting that. And let's see, we got some trophies in here. But I can't hang anything on the walls inside of the raft because you're not allowed to put stuff on the walls in here. I've heard that they're going to be fixing this the next patch, but I'm not, I don't know. I hope so. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and place these windows where they need to go. Finish sealing this place up. And you can see we've got our bed and our little uh, storage box right here. I think all the windows are... Mm, yeah, we've already got all the windows we need and everything downstairs. So... All of that is good. Okay. Oh, and this is a bulk smithy, by the way, as well, so... Um, the differences between the bulk and the regular, I think it holds more. And I think it says it had faster crafting times. And inside of here we've got um, Primitive Tranquilizer Rifle. So we have a Trank mod on this server. Um, but I don't know that we're going to be using it that much because we don't have increased dino uh, levels. So it would be kind of, uh, kind of cheap to use that. 
I keep hearing something swimming underneath the raft. What the heck is that? I'm guessing it's an icky. Oh, that's a mana ray. I probably should not go into the water. I'll tell you what we can do. Oh, yeah, it's a few icties. And I saw a mana ray down there as well. Right over there. Okay. Just making sure. I'm really afraid that a megalodon's gonna, like, come attack the middle of this. So I'm thinking about making, uh, extending some walls down through the bottom of this. I know a few tricks to where you can get a wall, like, and make a basement down here. And, um, it'll protect the bottom of the, uh, boat here. So I may end up doing that eventually. Okay, so let's see. Fire pit. So we don't actually have an electric cooker yet. So I figured we could place this fire pit out here. Uh, may place it... For now, I think I'll place it like right here. This will help us get food and everything. So, Alright, cool deal. And we have our forge right over here, which is making metal. Oh, yeah, it makes metal super fast, by the way. So, And I'm just going to leave that going for charcoal, because we're going to need that for bullets and stuff. For trank arrows. So we'll stick that metal in there. And let's see. Next, we'll go with... Crafting table. Okay, so this crafting table is for the corrected, uh, corrected structures mod. And I believe that we will end up putting that down here as well. But I'm not sure where I want that yet. may end up putting that like right here. There we go. That's just fine. And you can pick this up, I believe. Yeah, you see, you can pick this up afterwards too. So that's the cool thing about most of this stuff that we have on here. If you don't like where it's at, you're able to pick it up. So that's really cool. So I'll leave that right there for now. Okay, so we have the bolt grinder. And f in order to use the bolt grinder, you need to put the bolt tools down. So I'm going to put this over here next to the smithy, kind of out of the way. Because it doesn't actually do anything. See, there's no inventory or anything on the bolt tools there. And now we can place the grinder. And I'll end up putting that, like, right here, I think. It's a good spot for it. Cool. So we can make all of our... We can make the bulk uh, gunpowder, bulk, spark powder, and cementing paste. And we have our narcotics and um, bug repellent and stuff in there as well. And actually... I think I've got some spoiled meat in here and some charcoal. So let's go ahead... Uh, oh, spark powder. Oof, what am I thinking? There we go. Alright, so we'll go ahead and make a little bit of gunpowder there. And as you can see, it makes stacks of five, so it makes it a lot quicker. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and go with the glass smithy next. So, where do I want to place this? Hmm. Somewhere that it's not too in the way. Because I probably won't be using this that much. We may place this upstairs. Whoa, that was some lag. Yeah, I think like right in here would be a good spot for it. It'll be out of the way, but we can still use it if we need to. Glass smithy. I don't believe you can pick... No, you can't pick this one up. So, that's kind of unfortunate. So, that'll just stay up there. I probably won't use it too much. So, we have bulk storage here. So, the regular storage. Uh, 45 slots. Let's take all of that. And I figured I would be encumbered, but... Probably just going to place this. In the exact same spot. Because I kind of like that spot. Whoa, that looks really cool. 
I like that. So this is crafted with, um, let's see, uh, obsidian, metal, and crystal. And it looks awesome. And it's got 150 slots, and it sounded metal. So it is infused with metal, obsidian, and crystal. And it is tougher, I'm guessing, too. Yep, 5,000. Wow, that's really cool. I like the sounds. Whoops, I don't need that stuff in there. Alright, awesome. So there's that. Oh, I like how it opens and closes too. Check that out. That's a neat touch. Okay, so that's really cool looking. I like that a lot. Okay, so we have the Stone Cauldron Forge and the Advanced Cauldron Forge for crafting glass panels. But, so, from my understanding, this takes gas, I believe, and it's very small. I think we're just going to place it, like, right here. Unpowered. Okay, so, yeah, I believe this one is, this one takes electricity, whereas the stone one takes... And it's just a small. This one requires that you use um, thatch. Can I pick it up? Yep. This one requires that you use either uh, thatch, gunpowder, I mean not gunpowder, spark powder or oil to, to run. And this one is just electric powered. So actually I don't know if I like where that's at. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And we're going to end up placing this. I think I like this spot. Well, let's see. We're going to be using copper the most. Probably. Uh, for now, I'm just going to place it right there. I think that'll be a good spot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get power on all of this. So I have in the same bulk mod, I have the arc reactor here. And um, it is, I've already placed it down, you can't pick it back up, so that's the cool part about it. Dang it, these stairs. But um, it is, it's not too loud, it's not as loud as a fabricator or a regular generator, but it is still kind of loud. So let's go ahead and put gas in it. Activate it. So you can hear it. Like I said, it's not too loud. It's not too obnoxious or anything, but it is loud. So you can still hear it. Let's go out here and see if that's sticking through the um, wall and make sure that it is not. It is sticking through the wall. I'm going to have to move that, which is no big deal at all. And let's see. There we go. Okay. And now, after you have this generator up, you have these wireless um, crystal like nodes here, and these are what actually act as the um, um, sources of power for everything that you need to power. So you can place these pretty far away, and I think they'll still get powered from the uh, generator there. But I think, for now, I'm just going to place this guy. Um, hmm. I think I'll just place it up here for now. Maybe like in this corner. So there we go. And let's see if everything is powered. That is powered. That is powered. That is powered. It's kind of odd that it uh, has flames, but it's powered by electricity, but it's not that bad, I don't guess. Okay, so glass panels require five crystal. So we're going to make a few of these glass panels while we're here as well just to have them because I need I think I need these for um there was something I was wanting to craft that I needed the glass panels for but I didn't have them. Okay. So the difference between these two fabricators now. So the reason I picked the bulk one versus the regular fabricator here. You see that's that's as loud as a normal fabricator. As you can tell, this one is not very loud at all. So yeah, we're going to end up going with this guy, and we're just going to pick this one up, and maybe give that to somebody else that needs it. Oh, there's gas in it. 
and I'm just going to stick this in here for now and that as well okay let's go stick this gas in here alright good deal so now we have the advanced armor uh, creator here I'll stick that right there for now it's got some pretty neat um, skins in it and stuff I'll go over these in a later video but um, let's see what else do we have Ah, oh, meat spoiler. Okay, so this is possibly the coolest thing about the uh, mod here. So, uh, where do we want to put this? For now, I'm just going to put it like right here. So check this out. When you turn it on, there's music that plays with it. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. There's like static music that plays that uh, you can hear and it it reaches pretty far So I can hear it pretty much everywhere on my um, little castle floating castle here So that's very cool Oh check this out a mailbox we need to do this last season Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Access inventory. So like how many spots are in it? Oh, eight spots. That's really cool. That's a neat that's a neat feature. That looks really nice. Okay, so the rest of the stuff that we have left is it's really just cosmetic stuff. Um for making like skins and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and place the Skyrim statue of Alduin right here. We'll place that I think that's a good spot for it. There's a stool that we have. We'll place this. Now we'll place it like right there. Can we actually sit on it? Oh, we can. That's cool. And we have this, uh, these apples in this Jack Daniels bottle. So we'll place this right here for now. And I'll, I'll get a different spot for it later on. Right, we'll place that like right there. See, you can make all kinds of uh, skins and stuff in it. It's actually how I made uh, the beard that I have on right now. So the beard is right there. And they have the uh, Super Saiyan hair. That's pretty cool. And then this is all female character um, hair or male character if you're into that. And these are the Skyrim helmets. Awesome pretty cool so yeah I would say our little fortress here let's see if this glass panels are done oh yeah that crafted actually pretty fast okay so what did I need to um, what was I gonna make with these there was a cooker that I was gonna make cooking oh this is it that's what I was gonna make we might not need our fire pit that we put outside now huh how big is this I think we'll place this like right here. Ooh, that's cool. So I'm guessing that makes the um, the meat pretty fast too. So we actually don't even need this out here anymore. So this is awesome. So um, what that'll do is that'll free up spots for me to put um, dinos right here. Because I'm going to need to take a dodic and a beaver with me after I tame those two. And I'm thinking I'll be able to place those like right here and leave them over here on this side of the raft. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Um, I know it was kind of just scatterbrained and um, really it was just a lot of decorating and stuff. Uh, I'm actually really liking the gameplay on the raft here. It's, it's pretty fantastic, actually. I really like the look of this bulk storage. That is pretty awesome. They should reskin a lot of stuff like that. And uh, this advanced kicker is pretty cool, too. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Leave me a like. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And there is one other thing that I did want to go over. Uh, I don't know if it'll be, it'll be able to get done next episode, but we'll see. 
So let me fly over this ridge here. Now I spotted this guy, but I didn't have a spyglass the first time. And I wanted to show you guys this. You gotta watch out because there's been a lot of dragons spawning um, all around the map, really. But there was one in particular that I saw over here the other day, and it was green. And I spotted it, and I liked the colors of it, so I was wanting to try to go for it. But check this out. Level 120 male. Now, this guy's been over here for a few days, and I just came back. Oh, gosh. I gotta go. Oh, you do not want them to chase you. They will chase you forever. And they are really fast, as you can see. But, yeah, that's what's coming up in a future episode. Oh, God, there's one below me. Oh, jeez. Okay, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.